In this Autodesk Fusion 360 tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use a driven dimension as a user parameter. Normally, when you have a driven dimension, you can't reference it in any way and use it in a user parameter. But now with the new update to Fusion 360, you can. For example, let's create a sketch on top of this cube. If I press P to project and I grab the face of that cube, I have these purple dots. If I press D to dimension these dots, I get a warning that this will over constrain the sketch. I know this and I want to create a user driven dimension. Once I have this driven dimension, how do I reference it as a user parameter? If you click modify change parameters, then twirl down to the sketch that you have, you'll see that it's in parentheses here. So then I can make a new parameter and I can call it cube side. And then I can enter D3. And then if I say OK, you'll notice that the value updates with that cube. So this is a great way that you can now use driven dimensions as a user parameter and use them in formulas and calculations while you're modeling in Fusion 360.